hey guys welcome back to my channel it's misha love and you know i'm back with another a video and today i'm here with a highly requested video on how i do my resin rolling trays now this tray here was for a customer but i will be showing you guys how i make these and if you would like to see how i create these trays continue watching Okay guys, so first things first, the materials you would need are gloves, your resin, I am currently using Art and Glow Casting and Coating Epoxy Resin, which is a two-part hardener and resin. You will need a measuring cup measuring in milliliters and ounces. And because in this video I will be layering my colors, you will also need three separate cups to mix your different colors in. For coloring, I will be using the Let's Resin resin dye. And if you don't have these, you can also use acrylic paint. You will also need popsicle sticks to mix your resin. You will also need a heat gun or a lighter to pop any of the bubbles that form in your resin. And last but not least, of course, you will need your resin mold. This here is a 4x6 mold that I will be using. Link below. Okay, now let's get these cracking. First, we're going to go ahead and mix our two-part resin. We're going to mix two ounces of hardener and two ounces of resin, which will be making four ounces in total to fill this tray mold. Okay, once you have your resin and hardener in one cup, we're going to go ahead and mix that for the next four to five minutes or until the resin is clear. And as you can see, as I'm mixing, there's a lot of bubbles that are forming. But don't worry about that, we're going to pop that later with our heat gun. And now that my resin is pretty much clear, I'm going to go ahead and grab my three empty cups and pour equal parts of resin into each one. Oh, 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 oh,
change my gloves and grab my resin die. The colors I used are Ruby Red, Sapphire Blue, and White. Now we're going to mix it. Now for this part, depending on the look that you're going for, you can pour however you want. I wasn't quite sure what look I was going for, so I just went ahead and poured each color in a row. And to give it more of an effect, I use my popsicle stick to blend the colors together. Now you see these bubbles right here? Yeah, we're going to use our heat gun to pop those. to cure for the next 24 hours. The next day. Now that it's been 24 hours, we're gonna go ahead and demold this bad boy. This was totally not planned, but I love this smoky effect on this tray. As you can see, the tray is completely cured and hardened, so it's time to add our image. And since this is a Patriots inspired tray, this is the image I will be using. And to seal the image onto the tray, the tools I will be using are UV resin.
resin clear, a UV light, and also a paintbrush. If you guys would like a tutorial on how I print my images for my tray, leave a comment down below and I will definitely do that video for you. Once your image is sealed onto your tray, in a separate cup you're going to mix 1 ounce resin and this will be used to seal the tray. After I poured the resin in the tray, I went ahead and used my popsicle stick to spread the resin over the surface evenly. Then I went ahead and grabbed my heat gun to pop all the bubbles on the surface. Now let it cure for 24 hours. The next day. And 24 hours later, you have you a beautiful rolling tray. So yeah, this is how I create my rolling trays. And if you guys would like to purchase one, check out my Etsy shop link down below. And yeah, for future tutorials, also leave comments down below. And I hope you guys enjoy. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.